Hello my beautiful ones, divine beings, gorgeous creators, cosmic angels, kings and queens, welcome in. I'm going to zone into my spirit guides and to all of those non-physicals who walk in the love and in the light to see what messages someone most needs to hear today. All right, so I'm going to just call in my guides. Guides, please join me in beautiful messages for whoever needs to hear it the most. I invite in all those non-physical beings, ancestors, higher deities, whoever walks in the light and wants to use me as a conduit for a beautiful message for somebody out there. What do they need to know, spirit guides, angels? What do we need to know? Okay, we've got the Queen of Pentacles coming out first and foremost. And this is affected by the Ace of Cups. And I'm getting straight away that your self-love is off the charts and i feel like this is giving you a really strong connection to the ethers or to the backstage or what we call the yin realm which is the source of all power so you're connecting to some sort of love energy here that's filling your radiant magnetic field up with beautiful energies and i feel like these are going to help you manifest i also feel like you know You've done a lot of the trials that the tarot represent. You've gone through emotional battles. You've gone through standing your ground and you've been passionate and loyal to what you represent. And, and you know, you've stuck to your convictions here. And now there's this satisfaction of manifestation with the Queen of Pentacles here. So I feel like you're really coming into your security, loving life. This is the luxury of feeling wonderful and feeling really generous with your love seeing the best in others and activating their sovereignty, activating their multi-dimensional nature through your love and recognition of their unique and beautiful ways. And I feel like you've recognized your unique and beautiful ways here. We've got a dove on this card. Look at that dove here. So I feel like, you know, you could be seeing, uh, you know, signs from the animals here. And this is also a sign of angelic protection here and recognition for your beautiful, beautiful heart. We've got the death card, big transformation coming in for you. And I feel like your mind and your body and your spirit are really transforming. This is gonna really boost your manifestations. You could feel like you're in a new world all of a sudden. You know, you could have found yourself really sinking in with your power and sinking in with your higher self and knowing you can be, do and have whatever you want and knowing you can create whatever you want. And I feel like it's your benevolent heart this really powering this up. I feel like you're the sort of person that when you're wealthy or abundant, when you've got extra cash, you can't help but be generous. You can't help but splash it around, you know? And I feel like it's not just about the money, but you spread your love around anyway. And to you, money's just an extra extension of your soul. You know, you recognize that it's currency and that it should be used to improve reality. So here we are, the emperor is the main energy of this reading. And I feel like this is you controlling your experience of life, you know, really being in the emperor's energy because the emperor represents a stable temple of the mind that creates the reality you truly want. And you only get to emperor status when you're really high vibrational, really benevolent, really loving. And again, there's that idea of you having done the right learning steps, having been kind hearted in the right places. And, you know, I feel like you're really open minded and really kind hearted. So this is taking you into noticing that the universe is responding to your thoughts, to your wishes, you know, to your whims. We've got the Ten of Swords here, so it's the end of an old pathway, escaping the matrix, getting your mind out of the 3D. Everything happens in the mind, so our mind is like a TV, and, you know, if we're in the 3D, it means we're low vibrational. No one is truly themselves in a 3D mindset. Nobody. So... I feel like you're really becoming who you truly are by being on this high frequency mindset, having a high frequency spirit and being beautifully generous. And the universe is responding to this by giving you signs and symbols that you're heading in the right direction. We've got the three of pentacles, the knight of cups. So this is an offer coming in in your future. OK, nine of wands, a protected offer coming along. I don't feel like this has happened yet, but this is just the promise of, you know, potentially good offers it doesn't have to be romantic but it certainly could be this could be someone loving your work or loving your energy this could be friendships this could be whatever but it's definitely loving it's definitely someone being admiring of you 
and really loving your energy and loving your light and loving your aura. So I feel like you're going to get a lot of cooperation from people, Three of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and you're going to feel a lot safer and a lot more secure in your reality. And I feel like this is happening very soon. I feel like you're going to see signs, symbols. The universe is going to make sure that you realise I'm in a new reality now. You know, the old expectations have got to go. If you've been through spiritual warfare, that's all over with the Ten of Swords. All right. And they're pulling me to the roses on the card here. Your heart is like a rose and it just keeps on blossoming. So you could be meeting two other people who are kind of similar in heart to you. People who really are going to be fond and affectionate of you. And they're going to recognize your sweetness because, you know, I'm getting that there could be three sweethearts, three beautiful people who may be working together with the three of pentacles. So let's have a look. Let's clarify this ace of cups and see what's happening here. Show me. Queen of Pentacles next to the Queen of Pentacles. There we go. So it's all blossoming for you, my love. You're in that sovereign state of mind, that royal frame of mind, astral royalty. You know, you could be star seeded, a light worker, and you've certainly gotten your consciousness up to that divine status. All right, so you're going to see manifestations that match up with your frequency because you've done the spiritual work. <laughs> Just as I say that, Eight of Pentacles, you've done the spiritual work and this is going to start manifesting in your reality as maybe more sales. I'm getting that someone's going to get more sales or, you know, physical feedback in the form of money, uh, loot, cooperative people, people who love you, people who are fond of you. I'm getting that for some of you, you could have a really great sense of humor. I'm getting people who find you really cute and really funny. So this is all good. This is like you getting into that driver's seat in your life and being on that golden pathway, you know, being in that lounge of the gods, keeping your mind in that place, knowing, knowing yourself, know thyself and you do know thyself. And that's what's keeping you on this beautiful golden road. I'm hearing rainbow road for those uh, Mario Kart enthusiasts out there. This is like a beautiful rainbow road for you. Knight of Swords with the Death Cards. There's going to be a quick transition. This is quick movement, all right? So it's almost like really quick movement from one situation to another or really quick movement in your mindset. Perhaps you've been working on breaking certain habits or doing certain things and getting yourself to a certain feeling of feeling radiant and feeling happy and manifesting because you know love pulls in everything you want. So I feel like you've been really doing the spiritual work keeping your focus on the positive things, not being distracted by the chaos causes or any of that crap. You know, you know that your life is for living and to turn the other cheek when uh, you're faced with things that don't make you feel good. So I feel like you've really been focused on making yourself feel good and making other people feel good. And that's what's making your transition so powerful here. So they're showing me someone sort of spinning around where, you know, like on those movies where someone sort of you know, get sort of spun around because someone runs past them really quickly. That could be how people feel with you. Like you could be transitioning or, uh, you know, transforming. Uh, I didn't mean actual death, but, you know, literally that's what the death card represents, a transition from one state of your being to another. So for some of you, you're going through really quick glow ups, really quick, you know, you're getting a really quick response from the universe with something here. Three of Wands with the Ten of Swords again. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I feel like you're done with the betrayals. You're done with those people who try to confuse you. You've seen the truth in this Ace of Swords. You've seen the truth in the spiritual warfare. You've seen the truth that you just can't help some people. You've seen the truth that there are two teams on this planet. Those with their heart chakras activated. Those who are etherealized. Those who want to see others do good. Those who get a real kick out of seeing people shining and glowing and creating harmony and love and fun. Versus those people who feed off of fear, chaos and carnage, okay? So you're seeing the truth here and you're making new, big new plans to manifest better in your reality, to cut out the rubbish, to cut off those people who you know will just drain your solar plexus or confuse you or try and make you doubt yourself. We don't have any time for that anymore. You're raising yourself up to this golden frame of mind where you are literally going to be 10 times more of a powerful manifester now because you're done with the battles. You've seen the truth and you've learned your lessons. And sometimes we have to go through a, a few battles before we really see clearly and before our mind can really accept the truth. Because sometimes we just want to see the good in people, right? So, uh, you know, I think you're realizing that 
some people you were dealing with, the only good thing about them is that they strengthen you up, you know, they make you have to, you know, have a strong force of will when it comes to knowing who you are, because they're going to test you, they're going to try and make you feel like you are not the person you think you are. So they make us much stronger because we have to reassert ourselves so many times around these people, you know, so you know who you are now. And this is strong, powerful, powerful mindset for you to manifest and for you to pull in heaven. You know, you've got access to the Akash. You've got psychic access points to the Akash. And I'm seeing a key going in a lot here. Like you've got VIP access to certain parts of the Akash. And so your signal is so important. The frequency you're on is so important because you're a doorway to loads of beautiful non-physical energies and only you can pull in the unique energies into the cosmic stage that we call Earth. Only you can pull in your unique essence. No one else is quite like you. So your unique potions that you have access to in the non-physical, you know, I feel like you're realizing you need to keep your frequency really high and uh, only focus on good things. It's essential that we get your personal heavenly energies pulled onto the planet. And that's your work I'm getting. It's your work to provide perhaps motherly energies or nurturing energies, male or female, doesn't matter. This is you really being the glue of perhaps, you know, your family, your community, your friendship groups, or just glue for the universe, right? Just your mere presence helps harmonize and make everything beautiful on planet earth so i feel like that's what you're doing here lovely sense of clarity of mind a lovely sense of knowing who you are and how powerful you are the wheel of fortune all right so your destiny is turning okay and this is a big energy with the wheel of fortune where the universe has felt your signal shift they felt your mindset raise up a notch I feel like you're giving yourself more credit for your power. You're giving yourself more credit. I'm hearing badass. Like you're giving yourself more credit that your heart's really powerful and that you are strong. You've been through a lot here and you're so strong and it's taught you so much about who you can trust and who to, you know, let go with grace and gratitude for the lessons they've taught you. But definitely, you know, this is your destiny to get in full control of your mind, body and spirit and to be running your own ship like the captain of your own ship. Big powerful energies here. The hanged man with the ten of swords. So someone's been left out in the cold, I feel. And this is the message from your higher self. If someone's previously betrayed you, disappointed you, if they haven't been a trustworthy ally to you, then you've got to let them go. I feel like you've sacrificed some people off of your timeline. Again, with love in your heart, you know, for the lessons and maybe even the good times. It depends who you've been dealing with. It depends how it's gone for you. But you've done the right thing here. OK, because you had to escape these lower 3D matrix kind of timelines and get yourself up where you belong, glowing, you know, really, really glowing and growing like spiritual royalty. OK, so you're accessing They show me an access card, you know, so some of you may be, you know, you may relate more to a key, like almost like an ancient key going into a lock in the Akash. Some of you may resonate more with the access card, getting VIP access to the lounge of the gods, but uh, definitely uh, something has ended here. So your spirit guides are telling you to really let that go because you've got more people coming in here to aid you, to lift you up. And it's going to be so simple. You know, the right connections for us don't have us doubting ourselves, confused. They're just simple and flowing and it's like whoa is it really this easy to be around lovely people yes it is we've got the three of pentacles twice here so definitely some good divine teamwork going on some nice divine allies coming in you know i'm quite extreme being an ancient soul and i was always looking for my soul group my whole life since i was a little kid and the only people i truly trust in my personal friendships and relationships because i am extreme i work for god this is no joke i really am a very militant person who was raised by the non-physical. I was zoning into all sorts of energies when I was a little kid because I didn't have any adult protection around me. So I had lots of uh, wonderful adult spirits in the non-physical raising me. And the only people I trust, having a little Scorpio in my birth chart, are the ones who would hack their way through like hordes of zombies to save me and vice versa. So that's how extreme I am with knowing who to take on my ship and who not to. And I've had a lot of betrayals from my actual family. So you may have had a similar situation here for them to be bringing that up in my mind, saying, look for allies, because friends come and go, but allies last forever. 
okay nine of cups says wish fulfillment here with these people that are going to be coming in your life appreciators teammates cosmic beauties i'm getting these are going to be cosmic beauties we've got the strength card with the nine of cups so this could be leo energy but i'm getting fellow warriors fellow warriors of the light let me show you this card this beautiful kalimar-esque lion riding a lion you know what i mean so you're going to be lions protecting one another you know really warm-hearted protection and support from a group of people i feel like you've craved this okay so this could be you coming across your soul family or your soul group you know we're all on the same team you know all of the chosen ones the light workers all of the ones who represent god and represent the love we're all on the same team but i feel like these could be more personal connections coming in for you closer tribal uh allies you know let's have a look nine of wands four of pentacles so you know there is this sense of guardedness and, and spirit saying be careful who you share your energy with because you've got to be balanced my darling so with the jewish kabbalah the tree of life we've got to learn when to hold our energy back just because we're loving just because we're earth angels just because we're chosen you know just because we are divine beings we cannot go giving our energy to people who would misuse that energy. It's called the Gabura. So you have to have that sternness. You have to have that inner thought. You know, it's like a castle of the soul where you're not going to let in enemies and you're not going to give your enemies any love. You can just be neutral to them. You know, they really don't want you sharing your beautiful heart with any enemies who have betrayed you. You know, I'm hearing words. I don't want to be vulgar on my channel, but they're saying, you know, some people have s-h-i-t on you you know i like i say i get a lot of non-physicals working through me not all of them are you know polite in a societal sense but they are real ones so they're saying do not let these people crap all over your life or whatever there's a need for you to be really protective of this energy because you're so radiant balanced being fair to yourself and keeping yourself balanced you know, I used to be a little earth angel years ago and I used to be so nice to people, they would think I was absolutely crazy. So I've learned about holding my energy back and, you know, it takes some time when you're an earth angel. You want to be kind to everyone. You want to turn it into heaven on earth. But to do that, we've got to realise we're in a spiritual war and not feed the enemy, okay? We're not feeding the enemy. Grounding, go deep, explore your roots. So I'm getting you're getting to know your ancestral line, perhaps. And really maybe looking into Arcturians, Pleiadians, Hydra constellation I'm getting I've got view from above get the big picture and you know again the word alien keeps coming up in this reading like you could be super cosmic you could bring in energies from really unique places in the universe you know when we realize how big this universe is we're just one tiny little universe and even our tiny little universe is so big and so full of variety and variation so let me know in the comments what you relate to you know, in terms of like constellations and higher beings, groups of, you know, people who are so evolved. Because I feel like this is what this is. This is you seeing a big cosmic picture. They're showing me the night sky with stars in it. So you could really love looking out at those stars and really find it really inspirational, you know. And I feel like you're really seeing through the eyes of God. Seeing through such a loving, loving lens of consciousness. And we've got first light beginning a new cycle and you know what with the grounding and the view from above they're showing me the root chakra going all the way up to the crown chakra so this is like you've been grounded in reality and respecting your ancestral lineage and respecting all of that good stuff and at the same time realizing that you've been in so many different realms of reality you know what i mean that you are everyone and they are you it's like this dual whammy of root to crown like you've got all your bases covered and again you're starting a new cycle with this new lens of perception with this new oh i feel like your heart is bursting bursting with love but you've learned your lessons and you're a warrior so you're not going to give that love out to just anyone which is why the universe is now sending in better people for you people who are fair people who are honest people who are going to give you the love you deserve and work with you you know these are team players. These are real ones. So beautiful. I feel like you've got all that coming in. Beautiful spiritual work on the table. I feel like I'm dealing with someone who's got a beautiful mind. And you've been doing some beautiful spiritual work. We've got serendipity here. You know, and she's 
floating up you know she's being pulled up by the luck and the love in her heart so i feel like you could have some really lucky lucky things coming in and oh, okay they're giving me nine of cups with this three of pentacles it's gonna be a chance meeting for some of you to continue on with an unfinished symphony something that you started in a previous life with one of your spiritual teammates okay so you're going to be meeting uh, another soul who you've known in previous incarnations you've uh, been a cosmic actor on the stage with them many times and we've got the here and now card so you're being really powerful in your now moment i don't feel like you're looking back or looking too far forward but you're really anchoring in really powerful energy from the non-physical from that yin round that magic endless raw energy that's waiting for us to harness it you're pulling in a strong stream of cosmic loving energy because you are anchored in your now moment i'm getting that you're perfectly content in your now moment and you've earned that contentedness you've earned that stability of mind and that groundedness and the balance of all your chakras you know really getting cosmic and also respecting the human part of you you know what i mean so this is a lovely lovely balance i'm loving this you are good enough so there's something here about you knowing you are enough you are fully lovable and the universe is responding to this frequency that you're putting out of knowing your value and you know this isn't an energy of having to prove yourself or having to you know worry what people think of you you just know who you are and getting know thyself know thyself divine one okay so that's what they're telling me that you know yourself and to trust that you know yourself and to trust that the right ones for you are always going to turn up just at the right time all right you've got a beautiful storyline to continue with one of these soul group members it could even be more than one because we've got the three of pentacles twice here conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse so you might not know who these people are yet but you just know you're blessed you just know things are going good you just know god's got your back we've got step out of your comfort zone north node so someone might want to look into their north node and really harness those energies of the north node or you could have been doing this you know you could have been googling stuff and really finding out your role here that's telling me you know this is like where your crown chakra is reaching right now all the way up here view from above so you're getting out of you know lower mindsets or, or out of your influence like people influencing you you know betrayers and, and enemy team players and you know them sort of narcs you're getting out of that and you're raising your consciousness up to a really beautiful cosmic level your hard work is paying off and things are about to get really balanced for you where you just expect good things because you know in your good beautiful soul and you know in your power to pull energy from the akash from the non-physical this is a real beautiful magician, earth angel. Oh, and you've got support coming in very soon, my darling. So enjoy this fresh cycle. I love hearing from you guys in the comments. And thank you so much for all your lovely likes and subscribes. And I love your comments. I love hearing your personal experiences with your cosmic journey, with your spiritual pathway. It's so good to, uh, you know, to hear from you guys. So uh, I hope you've liked this video. Mwah.